Here we are in Media Composer 2018, and whenever we apply our effects, it's very normal to just grab your effect and place it directly on a clip. Then, of course, choose whatever you want, adjust your effect however you want, and then move on to your next clip. But what if, because these, these two clips here are very similar, what if I want this same effect on this clip too? Well, I could always come back here. We could always save that effect, just drag it over here. I could always drag it down and apply it to that clip as well. But that's, you know, that's a lot of work. Let's go ahead and remove that effect, and we will remove this effect as well. Instead of placing the effect directly on the clip, we can actually put it above the clip as well, right in an empty track or in some filler here. Now, if you don't have an extra track, go ahead and click Command or Control Y here on Windows, Control Y, and that will add another track. Control Z to go back because I already have enough tracks here. So what we'll do is I don't want to just you know grab something and throw it down here because it's going to end up spanning the entire length of that track. Control Z. What I want to do is put an edit right on track two here. Make sure track two is selected. And I'll just hold down control in my case. And I'll add an edit. The add edit button is right here. If you don't have it mapped to your keyboard, you can always come to settings, keyboard, open that up, come up here to tools, come down to your command palette, head over here to edit. And here is your add edit shortcut key. Make sure button to button reassignment is on, grab it and drop it on any key that you want. But I already have mine mapped to my B key. All right. So I added my edit right there at the start of the clip. And I want it to span these two clips in this case, or maybe even three clips or up to here. So I'll just add an edit right there. You can see that mark I created. And now I'll go back to my effects. We'll grab our film color too, and I'll just drop it above those three different clips. So now I can go ahead and do whatever work I need to do within my effect. Just find something that I like here. That's pretty good. I want it nice and bright. And there we go. So now this effect, instead of just being on the clip, it spans all three of those clips. And we have the same color on all three of those. Real quick and real easy. Another reason you might want to do something like that is if you have a sort of a composite, as you can see here, I have a total of three clips playing at the same time. If I want to color all of these exactly the same or maybe put 3D warp on it, whatever, it would be difficult to come in here and try to change everything. And also some effects, you know, they may not nest well. If you already have an effect, you can always nest effects, but sometimes it doesn't really work, uh, work out that great. So of course we can place an effect above these three clips as well. I'll hit Control Y in my case, Command Y on Mac to add that track. I'm going to add an edit right there. Come down to the end here, add an edit right there. And then I can grab whatever effect I, I want. Maybe I want to use 3D Warp and make everything larger because all of these effects flow down. So it's going to affect this track, this track, and this track uh, in this case. So I can scale everything up, you see? So I can do a really cool sort of intro here or an outro, whatever you want there, put my keyframes and have it scale back down. And that's going to, this effect now is spanning all of those. You have a really cool effect there. Much easier than trying to come in here and finagle individual effects. Just place that effect above all of the other effects and you're good to go. Same thing if I wanted to color it. Again, put my marks there or my, my edits. Find something I want to color with or title with or whatever. And maybe I want to make this black and white. I can make everything black and white because our effect is on top of all of the other effects. Real quick and real easy there. All right. So whenever you're placing your effects in Avid Media Composer 2018, you don't have to place the effect directly on a clip. You can always put it above a clip or several clips, and that effect will then affect everything down stream. All you need to do is, of course, select the track, add your edits, and place your effect. Uh -huh.